Have you ever been to Brookside Gardens in Wheaton? This 50-acre public display garden, managed by Montgomery County Department of Parks, is a gem. Brookside has two conservatories, which host year-round displays. Each fall, mums take over. Let's take a tour. Do you like that? Pretty spectacular, huh? Welcome to the Brookside Gardens Conservatory. We're here inside our autumn chrysanthemum display, where every year we have a tremendous display of differently colored flowering chrysanthemums and other plants that add contrast and complement to this autumn spectacular. So here we have three different types of chrysanthemums in this part of the display. The first one is the one you most commonly see in your garden. It's this low rounded mound of flowers, which we call a garden mum. It'll survive the winter and come back year after year in your garden with a minimum of care. These other two types of chrysanthemums are much more specialized and you're not gonna see them in your garden center or home improvement store. They need a greenhouse and a lot of meticulous skilled care throughout the year to produce this voluptuous flower that when it's fully open will be about as big as a child's head. Um, this is called a, a single stem disbud chrysanthemum and then behind it we have a different type of plant called a spray chrysanthemum. We've got many smaller flowers at the ends of the stems versus one ginormous flower at the end of its stem. So you think it's hard to train a dog, right? It's only a little bit easier to train a chrysanthemum. All summer long, the growers are training these plants to go in the direction they want them to go and do what they want them to do. And we have two different aspects to the care and training of the chrysanthemum. The first part is agility, trying to get a plant to grow almost six feet in about nine months. Okay, this plant when is taller than I am, and when it was planted, it was only about 12 to 18 inches tall. It's being grown in what we call uh, a panel form, which is wide, not too wide, wide and bushy and covered in flowers. Next to it is a column form. Again, one plant is planted out in May and it's trained and pinched and pruned all year long to get it to cover its wire frame and reach the top in time for our display. So up here we have an example of a chrysanthemum that's been trained to be really extra obedient. This is a hanging basket that's filled with um, special Japanese cascading chrysanthemums and another a plant, this is a Swedish ivy. All summer long, these chrysanthemums have the ends of their stems weighted down. We use little um, nuts on strings to weight the ends of the shoots. Uh, when they're young and flexible, they can be pulled down and once the stems get older, they become rigid and they don't curve back up. So thanks for visiting the chrysanthemum display at Brookside Gardens. Now when our display is over, we'll remove all the plants to make room for the next seasonal display. But if you want to have chrysanthemums return to your garden year after year, you can leave your garden mums in the ground and with a few simple things you can do, you'll have a great display year after year. Make sure you plant your chrysanthemums in an area that's not going to be soggy and saturated during the winter. Chrysanthemums don't like their roots to be soaking wet over the winter. Also, leave the stems of the plant standing. They can trap snow or leaves that help protect the crown of the plant over the winter. In the spring, when you see the new growth starting, you can easily remove the dead stems. 
And also in the spring, if your plants come back just a little, that's, that's fine. Plant chrysanthemums are very vigorous and they will grow all spring until flat, all spring and summer until flowering time in the fall. But if you do find your chrysanthemums have come back and exploded and are gonna take over the whole garden, it's easy enough to lift them up in April or May when you see new growth and you can divide up the plant and keep just two or three pieces of the healthiest, strongest looking parts of the plant and either compost or give away the other pieces. So enjoy your chrysanthemums and come enjoy the Brookside Gardens Conservatory. For more information about what's happening at Brookside Gardens, go to brooksidegardens.org.